Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a Man 13 online gameplay. Today we are taking on a big challenge. Some people gave me this challenge to do and I am hard headed so I figured why not. The challenge is only to run the ball. No passing. Not even a pass attempt. So to do this challenge today, we grabbed the Philadelphia Eagles since they have Mike Vick, one of the fastest quarterbacks in the game, and LaShawn McCoy, one of the fastest running backs in the game. And to do this challenge, we need a lot of speed on the ground as Mike Vick displays that speed right there going into the red zone. So yeah, we do need that speed to convert. We also need no fumbles. Please no turnovers, and I'm pointing at Mike Vick on that one. And the third thing we need, good defense. And that's exactly what Namdi Osama did not do. Like, goddamn, I'm going to lock that dude up in his car so he has no choice but to eat in there if he keeps on doing stuff like that. And my opponent is pretty good. It's not like I'm playing a scrub. This dude has about 920 skill points. And that's more skill points than me. So we definitely have a challenge in our hand. And look at the defense coming through. That is what I need. I need tremendous defense. Not just good defense. Tremendous defense. Because I'm going to be handicapped in this game. I'm only going to be able to run the ball. And I'm probably not going to be able to get that much touchdowns. And as soon as I say that, we get a touchdown here. Big time touchdown. But um, yeah, we need tremendous defense. We need a lot of stops. And we need turnovers. A lot of turnovers. Especially turnovers in good field position. What also we need? We need good special teams. As Dexter Jackson takes this one. Deshaun Jackson was injured. But who cares? Another Jackson almost took that to the house. And we were in the red zone right away. And look at that. Brenton Stella trucks me again. That's the second time he did that to me in this game. Like, that's some straight Madden logic right there. When your own people knock you. I stiff on one of the Cowboys. But of course, one of my own teammates knocked me out the way. That's a joke I like to make with some people. Let's put hashtag Madden logic right there. But we got Mike Vick to run in the end zone. He's running away from the feds all good but look at this drive my opponent is putting up right before the two minute warning ends he throws a little curl right there for jason witten in the end zone for a touchdown and oh my god that was the scariest play i've ever seen in my life we almost fumbled the ball with two seconds left before the half i saw my whole life flag right before my eyes oh man but thankful we picked it up he would have gotten a field goal and tied the game if he picked it up instead we got it and that ended halftime and right away we got to pick the start of halftime and once again we got the ball in really good field possession at least in field goal range but um we want a touchdown of course so we're trying to push the ball with LaShawn McCoy unfortunately we get pushed like five yards backward third down and ten and we get nothing so we have to settle for the field goal here and he still has a chance to take the lead with a touchdown so we got once again big time defense and look at this big time defensive play the art of the bait got him oh man he thought he had the inside there but i had that covered and we get the pick and once again no we're in field goal range and this time it's absolutely huge to convert even a field goal because that makes it a two possession game and the way our defense is playing you know we can make it a two possession game we're all good just don't foam the ball mike vick we just run a drop right here third down and five play it safe if we get it we get it if we don't we make it a two possession game and that's what we do so now four quarter time winding down there's still plenty of time left for my opponent to do something he's moving the ball into field goal range but of course he's thinking touchdown but Dominic Rogers Camardi is thinking, let me jump that pass lane real quick and let me get that pick from my boy Cookie Boy. Thank you very much, Mr. Rogers Camardi. And now we're gonna run the clock. We just wanna kill the clock right now and escape here with the victory. I really wanna complete this challenge so badly. And look at this, I pull up Mark Sanchez and run to my own offensive lineman there. Third down and six, we get Bliss. He called all his timeouts. So now he gets the ball back with about 2.23 left. A little bit less, since we got a beautiful punt there. What a punt. And now he has to try to force the ball deep. And this ends up being the dagger for my opponent. He just tries to throw a tee back there for Des Bryant. Does not get it. We get the pick. We get the first down here. And since, you know, he has no timeouts, we could just need a ball out or just run around with Vic, which is what I do, and end the game. So that's the game. I showed up um, stats at the end. I did not even throw a pass attempt. So, you know, I hope you guys like this video. Give me a vote. Give your boy a vote. And, um, yeah, we had a pretty good ground game. As you see, Vic and McCoy over 200 yards. And I'm out. And before we get into tonight's game with the Timberwolves versus the Raptors, let's take a look here on our ESPN website of what Rudy Gay had to tweet a couple hours before the game. He said this will be an easy win for us tonight against the Timberwolves. Let's go Raptors. Now, I don't think Rudy Gay should have did this because if he know how Deshaun Harris reacts on court against trash talk, I don't think he should have did this. Deshaun might drop 30 this game. What is going on to all of you? It is your boy Homeless Gun, but y'all can just call me Sean here in the second round of the Sports Commentators March Madness Tournament. So y'all know I'm here to win, so let's get straight into this commentary. As you see, Deshaun Harris got a big man on us, so he's trying to take an advantage, getting the crossover, getting to the pick, getting a dunk. Instagram that dunk. 
And on this ASPN replay, they gave Deshaun Harris a score of a 6. I think he should have got a 7 or higher. But as he got the free throw line, trying to convert the and one, he shoots it. They get a couple of friendly bounces, and it goes right in, converting the and one. As he's calling for the screen for Kevin Love, he pulls up at the 3. Dead eye activated. And that's wet like water. The Timberwolves have the lead by one point, 10 to 9. A shot clock is winding down. Deshaun needs to do something with the ball quick. He dishes it off to Rubio in the paint. Rubio just get the ball off in time and give Deshaun his first assist of this game. And the shot clock is winding down once again. He passes it off to Pekovic. Pekovic passes it off to Brandon Roy. He knocks that down going into the second quarter. But let's see what the Timberwolves coach have to say. Deshaun, do not worry about passing the ball in the second quarter. We need you to do what you do best. Score the ball. Don't worry about passing right now. As we jump into the second quarter, Deshaun is coming down the court, hitting a series of moves on Rudy Gage. Hits the step back, pulls up for the three, and he's knocking down that three from downtown behind a three-point line. And once again, Rudy Gage trying to play defense. He get crossed over by Deshaun Harris, but Deshaun doesn't find no teammate cutting to the basket. He was trying to look for an assist right there, but couldn't get it. But he goes back into the paint, getting a right-hand layup over his teammate. And that's all that matters is that he gets the two points to go in. And as soon as he comes down the court, he's being double teamed. He dishes it off to Kevin Love at the top, and Kevin Love, we trust, he not Knocks down that three, giving Deshaun another assist. And Deshaun Harris receives the ball from Kevin Love. Shot clock winding down, and Deshaun pull up for three. Dead eye activated. And that's wet like water. And the Timberwolves are now up by 10 points. He crossed over Rudy Gay, getting to the paint, getting the dunk. dunk. And on this ESPN replay, they gave Deshaun Harris a score of an eight. Now, I think that's a perfect score for this dunk because this dunk was good. And with a little bit over three minutes remaining, Deshaun passed the ball off to Kevin Love. Kevin Love passed it right back. Deshaun shoots the ball at the top of the key with a hand in his face and knocks that down from the three-point line. And Deshaun Harris is calling for a quick pick and roll, hitting a couple moves, but takes another three and knocked that down. Nothing but net. And let's listen to what the Timberwolves head coach have to say. All right, Deshaun, we got this lead by six points. Let's maintain this lead, keep our focus, and let's win this game. You heard from the head coach of the Timberwolves. He wants this team to keep their focus and maintain this lead so they can come out with the win. And Deshaun gets the windmill dunk. Instagram that dunk. And on this ESPN replay, they gave Deshaun a score of an 8. I think it should have been a 10. That dunk was vicious, had a mean flush to it, and that put an end to this game. Rudy Gay should have never tweeted that tweet out before this game because Deshaun went off. And I just want to give a thanks and shout out to all the fans and viewers that voted me to get past the first round and get into the second round. I highly appreciate that. Let's do that once again so I can get into the third round, and I am out.